Thank you. So uh, welcome to the urban world. So you and I are part of the first generations to be alive, to be in a world that is majority urban. The uh, world crossed that threshold about uh, 10 years ago, okay? And the urban world is a world of diversity and competition, but it's also a world of inequality, okay? So all sorts of measures of this. Uh, eight people in the world own more uh, uh, assets uh, than you know, the 50% of the world's population. So extraordinary inequality. So cities bring together all the best and the worst, okay? Now, we're at this moment of inequality here where we have, really have to think about the scale of inequality. It's local and it's global. So by various measures, uh, this is the second most expensive real estate market on the planet, okay? And, of course, it's all built on unceded territories. So we're guests on this territory, or capital has been built upon stolen land, okay? Number two in the world, okay, built upon stolen land. And so we have this really amazing view of the past and the present in this city. You can see th things from this city about the world, about the present and the past, that are really hard to see anywhere else. It's extraordinary, okay? But we need to do something about this here. Um, because the inequality is completely out of hand, and in this town, a lot of that is tied into land and real estate, again, based on unceded territories of the peoples who were here before, and the peoples who are still here uh, with us today. So we need to do something about this inequality. Now, when we have a crisis, every once in a while you get this opportunity to have a conversation with people. So in the financial crisis of 2008, extraordinary uh, anxiety among the world's most powerful bankers uh, and, uh, and world elites, and there was just uh, extraordinary uh, measures taken to save it, saving the banking system. And all of a sudden the asset values uh, would, would kind of collapse and stock markets would collapse. Real estate uh, portfolios would start to, uh, start to tumble. Not much in this city, but in a lot of other cities. This gave you an opportunity to talk to property owners in a different way because property owners uh, are really, they can be nice people, but they tend to, uh, they tend to have a, a bit of a, a distorted view of the world. If your house increases in value, by 10,000, 100,000, a million from one year to another, you look at that assessment, you're like, ah, I earned that. <laughs> and of course you didn't. A city is a collective creation. It's like a work of art. It is a collective work of art, which means we all have a part to play in that. So what it means is, if a house's value increases by 100,000 or a half a million or a million from year to year, that that exactly, or 12 million, that is collectively created. That belongs to all of us, okay? So, like I said, uh, wealthy property owners can be very nice people, but they need to be reminded that they, just like poor people, live in social housing. Okay? Yes. They live in social housing, social they live housing. in public housing. We all live in public housing. It's just some of us are treated differently, okay? So we need to fight back against that stigma. We are all living in social housing, and we simply need to recognize that. So uh, Jean Swanson, for anybody who knows anything about this town, is, is just, she is, uh, she is the soul of the city, okay? <laughs> and, and she has a very reasonable set of proposals that will take us towards solving homelessness, which has been a priority, a stated priority of this city for quite a few years now, okay? It can be solved. The money is there. It doesn't require anything drastic. Now, this is not revolutionary. We could go there. Okay? The crowds are always there. There's always the mobilization possible under, underneath. But this is a very small step towards solving problems that we really need to deal with. So solving homelessness and addressing uh, the real severe uh, affordable housing crisis for renters and, and co-ops. Uh, and also steps towards reconciliation. This extraordinary expensive real estate market, one of the planet's most expensive places built on stolen land. We can do something about this and we need to do something about this. So in a city, we are all in this together. That is what the definition is of a city, okay?
It is bringing things together. It is bringing diversity together. It is bringing uh, learning and innovation together, but it's also bringing inequality together. So it's time for us to address that inequality. A city is for all of the people. Yes. Yeah. A city is a work of art. It is a collective work of art, and we all need to work on that tapestry, on that, on that canvas. All of us need to, to be artists in the city, and we all need to participate in this, and all of us need to play our role. And the wealthiest property owners in this city need to do a little bit more. That's all we're asking for. So a city for its citizens, the city for all, the city for all. Thank you. Woo!